Hello Pisces, welcome into my channel. We're going to get some messages for you today. This is Sage Sunset Healing Tarot and we're going to get messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. Pisces, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. And I do hope that you find messages here that are able to help guide you along your journey. All right. <clears throat> See, that's the page. The Knight of Cups. Are we going to see? This is the. The Page of Cups, right, are the Knight of Cups energy. And we have it reflected here once more. Someone might be wanting to come in and offer you some love. Pisces, no, this could be you also wanting to go forth and offer someone some love. Love is not always something romantic. I feel this is towards something that... You appreciate you could be a bit timid about doing so about a bit hesitant maybe not sure how the person will feel about about you it could be a family member too as if you just you're a bit hesitant you want to go in and like speak or say something or offer some support yeah I feel like maybe it could be support but you're not sure how it's going to be taken and so you're really Holding back a little bit here, Pisces. All right. Maybe it's an apology. You're not sure how someone will, will feel about you apologizing. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Are you seeing this, Pisces? Look at that. Hmm. So definitely, I feel, well, I've, as if there's a lot of pressure here to go out and make this offer to someone. And it's, I feel it's pressure inside of yourself, really wanting to make that move as if you, you want to follow, trust your emotions, but you're not. Let's see why. The sun card, as if you're afraid of change. Maybe you want to send this message. You feel inspired to make this move. We're going to look at this as a, a love reading here. But I feel like you're just maybe afraid of breaking out, of breaking through, afraid of the, afraid of the, um, the effects of you going and making this offer. Maybe you're afraid of reuniting. We have the Eight of Swords here. Like a lot of things are in development. A lot of things are manifesting, taking action, whatever you're working on, creating, maybe expressing yourself. Maybe you want to send this person a message here this could be a written message by text or even on paper maybe wanting a brand new beginning with someone and let's see what you're moving past we have the six past the six of swords energy which feels like maybe you already moved you already gained clarity the clarity that you needed to go forward Maybe some of you want to go back to a past person, which could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra here, air sign. Okay. I feel it's all about creating balance here. Some sort of a, a stability in self too. And to create balance with another person that you're affiliated with. Now you hope to really, oh my God, that's the Queen of Cups. I feel like you hope to be successful. Someone could be coming into you here as if you can almost feel like someone is approaching you here, Pisces, with an offering of love. The Queen of Cups is your energy too. That's the mother of water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel there could be a connection with two water signs here. Someone may be definitely moving in toward you with the Six of Cups, with the Six of Swords and the Knight of Cups energy. Making a decision to move forward, to come into you here.
So I feel like you're looking to be grounded, stable. So if you're not looking to really align with someone who you admire, because I do feel like you admire this energy right here. Like this is a person that you admire, you admire their beauty, their radiance, the mystery that they hold, intuition, intelligence, their ability to be so nurturing, so giving, as if this person is so full, abundant, without even trying to be abundant, and you're attracted to this energy, maybe wanting to, to give to this person, as if you feel compelled to offer this person love and affection. So let's see what's coming up in your future. All right, we have the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles energy is holding on, holding on to money, being secure, secure in your sense of value. The Four of Pentacles is always a, is also an energy of feeling stuck. Of uh, this maybe you're experiencing just feel it not moving right now in your sense of value, as if you could look, as if you could use some boost, some motivation. With the Sun card here. As if what, what you're currently doing is not really helping you to move forward. You know what you want when it comes to even your money and your sense of value. But I feel like you're maybe coming into a place where you're experiencing a little bit of, what do you call that um, energy? Consolidation. So things are moving sideways. It's not going up or down. It's just um, just consolidating here. I feel like there's going to be a breakthrough one way or another. I feel like you definitely want to move forward, want to feel more safe, grounded, secure in yourself, the value that you're offering to someone, the star card. Wanting that balance. This is Aquarius energy once more. Some of you could be coming into an Aquarius or moving away from, or this is just an energy here, Pisces, of healing, of finding balance, of connecting to the elements here water earth the stars of being true this i feel like this is a card of being true so maybe some truth came out or some truth will come out especially with the six of swords energy that feels like truth the sun card that feels like truth maybe you want to go to someone or someone wants to come into you speak some truth to you here that's going to create healing or some give clarity in in a situation for those that are involved in your home life oh my goodness can you make this up no you cannot this is the king of cups energy so we have both king and queens of queen of cups out here oh my this is a very beautiful reading for you some of you could be married to the person of your dreams i feel maybe going through a bit of separation and i feel like it's a bit of misunderstanding with the values with um each each individual's sense of what integrity is or values and so maybe there is a bit of a rift here and someone wants to really come back come back in or move back in and apologize like to say i've realized look at this i re look at oh my gosh wow look at the cards here we have the queen the two the ten the ten and the ace so brand, I feel like new beginnings of love. Someone wants to start over to reconcile with their mate. Right? So the king of cups is one that is stable, reliable. It's that divine counterpart of the queen of cups energy. A father figure. So you could have a family with this person. You could definitely want a brand new beginning here. As if you want to go and pledge your love to someone who you feel is your soulmate. But you're not feeling the courage, the stamina, the bravery it takes yet. So that's maybe that's what the sun card is saying. That is your obstacle. You're not feeling good you're enough to make this move forward. So you're not feeling confident and brave and pure and innocent and free and just allowing your emotions to flow. You're a bit hesitant. So the sun card is here to say, even though it is your obstacle, because you can envision what it is that you want to say, but you're not acting. You're not acting because your sense of value or your sense of self-worth needs you in a sense because you are the one that has to be there for yourself it needs motivation it needs to to be reinforced here so that you can make the, you can take the steps that you need to take and we're gonna probably we're gonna see how your person feels about you right so your fears are 
maybe that you won't be appreciated or the energy will not be reciprocated well for you i feel like your fears are so ooh. Ah, so listen so we have the outcome which is the five of swords the fives represent change when we see the five of i mean five of wands excuse me when we see the five of wands well for me it feels like in order to to receive to um to to change to come out of this energy of being in force is to really get a bird's eye view so you have to really separate yourself from this argument from wanting to have an upper hand because I feel each person here wants their opinion to be the most valid, <laughs> you know? So I feel like you have to know how to relax, to release, to surrender, to give, to give. It feels like give, as when I say give, it feels like allowing something to fall, giving in a sense of surrender, right? I feel, ooh, I feel like surrender, something that you could have been holding on to your part in an argument because i did say i feel like both people's opinions it feels like both people are holding on to their own opinions here but someone needs to, to to give in to surrender to um to say like when you're in an argument it's okay to give in and allow okay to release the need to be right some of you could be learning new things here enlightenment being enlightened Someone might want to go off to travel. I feel like, so whatever you feel is burdening you or holding you down or interfering with your relationship. It is something so, this conflict that you're going through with your partner here, it's easy. I feel like you can easily smile and release and surrender. And then I feel like both people will be able to come together that way. Well, at the bottom of the deck, we have been paid the night. Of sorts, so something a change could be taking uh, taking place rather quickly. Maybe in the way you're going to stand up for yourself and express yourself here. All right, let us clarify the star. Let's clarify the star card, please. What is the star card in Pisces reading? The Knight of Pentacles. Now we have three knights out here. Giving more. I feel an energy of being in, oh my God, of being more in service, of giving more, of knowing your true value, knowing that whatever it is that you have to offer will be worthwhile. Or it's worthy, you're worthy. So give off your true self, it feels like, right? I feel like what, you, what this is saying, what it is that you have to give is super valuable. But any other clarifications, Knights of Cups clarifications? The Pisces, Knights of Cups. Okay. Queen of Cups clarification. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. I feel like the Queen was waiting for me to ask. All right, so Queen of Cups clarification, we have the Judgment, the Lovers, and the Nine of Cups. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups. A lot of love energy here. So Judgment is saying, what, what is just and fair is about to take place? And it's about to take place rapidly here, right? I feel like being truthful, being honest, um, being authentic, be, stay in your genuine state, your true state. I feel like also releasing your burden because it's heavenly. So it's more of your spirit body instead of your humanly experiences. So sometimes human experiences do feel heavy. They feel burdensome because they are like baggages that we've accumulated along our journey. So I feel like if you stay in your higher sense, there'll be justice. Our judgment will be called and the situation will be brought to a level playing field i feel here not the first but some a level playing field for all parties you two may be soulmate divine soulmates here with the lover's card belonging together a divine union heavenly blessed union heavenly sanctified i feel like holy sanctification <laughs> and when we talk about sanctifying i feel like water that blessed this feels like holy holy water we have a lot of cups energy here 
a lot to be thankful for. I feel like the energy between both of you when you come together is beautiful. As if you could both create holy water together in your space when you align. As if the chemistry, your chem oh, I feel like that's the energy, the chemistry. Your chemistry is beautiful. It may be intense from time to time, especially dealing with water signs. If both of you are water signs here and think you know it all because you're so intuitive, that's why it's it's okay to surrender and to remember that both of you can learn from one another. As we were saying about the higher perspective, the lower, the lover's card also represents that higher perspective. And it is you connecting with your masculine, your feminine, and then a higher awareness of self. And I feel like when you, Pisces, or your person is able to really remember to realign with your higher perspective, then the love that you share will... Um, I feel like it will just come back together naturally. Know that what you both have valuable input in the relationship here, right? So it's okay to learn from one another. Learn. Listen, learn. It's okay to cave, to surrender to your partner's feelings, emotions, give support. I feel like there's abundance here, of a financial abundance, or this is just a value between both of you this reading is powerful some of you may want to really start a family with this person looking to get engaged perhaps perhaps this is an engagement that you're afraid to approach this person with here an engagement ring a proposal but i feel like something is going to if you're moving slowly right now with the knight of cups energy i feel like something is going to trigger you or maybe you're going to get some competition and it's going to cause you to act quickly and swiftly and you're going to realize you're breaking barriers that's how i feel breaking barriers within yourself self-doubt that internal conflict and i feel it has to do with your sense of self-worth and i feel like this is a challenge for you in your self-development as well and yeah so because like you're mean like you're holding on to this in such a vexed way it's almost like hoarding holding on to your ideas how you feel and not letting up relentless but look at you now letting up releasing and you feel like it's so easy now to release before it was so hard you couldn't even imagine surrendering or giving in and then you do and it's like the most beautiful transformation and it's going to bring new blessings into your life we see that with the ten of cups energy here reflected twice so if you're looking for a family that divine love connection with your partner you can have it all right i feel like both of you are definitely designed to be together so it's divine page of swords I feel it's speaking of authority. Oh my God, authority, authority, standing up for yourself, speaking, being direct. Use your intellect. Breathe also. Take a deep breath to reassure yourself, to rebalance yourself. We have the Hierophant card here. I feel like you definitely want this traditional love setting, the home, the Ten of Cups energy, the happy family, and marriage for you. Last messages make it happen with the magician card you can make it happen i feel like um remember oh remember that your your external world is only a reflection of your internal world here so however you're feeling confused if you're not feeling good highly valuable you could be right to want to wait to make this connection until you feel good right you have to remember that how you feel externally is what you're going to get. What you feel internally is what is reflected on the external. Look at that. The Ace of Pentacles card showing up again. Really affirming to me that your value is innate. It is something that someone can not give to you and someone cannot take from you. It's in you. So you have to tap into that energy. And I want to say breathe again. Breathe right to this feeling of my innate sense of value. I deserve to be happy. I am worthy. Looking the look, I feel like look in the mirror. Like give yourself a glance over and you know, pep talk. Give yourself that pep talk. As I was saying, it's like you need that boost. 
of motivation to go forward. But be reminded that your value is within you. And I think that's how we're ending this reading today. Your, oh my gosh. Mm, definitely. Your value is within you. Working. So some, I feel like working on your value. It's, it's like carving out your sense of value here. I feel also there's earth sign in your life. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be a business partnership. And this could be you in your business. Really developing yourself here. Being grounded and stable. Even in your... This is like that confidence. You found it inside innately. Right? You developed it. You manifested it. Even reflected in your external world. Okay? So... This is what I'm seeing for you, Pisces. Beautiful energy. Very beautiful reading. Pisces, okay, so this is what I have for you. I do hope you found messages here that resonate with you and are able to help guide you on your journey, Pisces. If you did and you're interested in supporting my channel, you can check the description box below this video. You may, um, you can also subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Really appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Um, remember that Pisces, you can be, do, have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you're all and all is within you. Much love. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.